If you have arrived at this tutorial, you've probably hit a roadblock when it comes to using dates in the query function. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use dates in the query function with our list of data here. So let's get started. If you want to play along, and I encourage that you do, there is a link to this data sheet in the description below. And if you open up the first example here, you'll see that we've got a uh, light orange section here that will display the formulas that you generate throughout this tutorial to as a reference guide for yourself. So make a copy of the sheet and when you're ready come back and we will get started. Okay you're back. Let's dive in. So first let's make a query where we want to display all the rows that contain a specific date. So we'll hit equals here and we'll hit query and then we want our data set. So we want to include our headers here and then we want to go all the way down all the way down to the bottom of our data set, which is here. And then we have our query values. So now we're going to build out our query. When we have the commands, I capitalize the commands here. So select, for example, and we what's, what columns do we want? Well, we want all columns, so we can use a shortcut asterisk here. So select all where A is now equal to, here we're going to use a new command called date here. Now this date command is going to require a string that we use with single quotation marks here. And the, the way the layout is for the query date is in my favorite order of lining up a date where it's year, month, then day. So let's look at an example here. Let's get all the dates where it is 2024. And here we're going to separate our year, month, and day by a dash. And then the month is going to be 01 and the day is going to be 10. And then we'll hit tab. Done. Okay, so that's quite simple when we're putting it in line. What about if we want to reference a cell here? So I've got a little drop down menu here of all the dates in this range here and that have been ordered. So I want to reference this cell in my formula here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just grab this and for the purposes of this tutorial, let's lock these ranges in with an F4, an absolute reference here. And I'm just going to hit Control A, select the entire formula here and Control C to copy and head down to F11 and Control V to paste. Now we have a cell reference here, so we need to get out of this query string. So to do that, we're going to remove this date and put in two sets of double quotation marks, then arrow back, and then put in two ampersands. And then inside the ampersands, we're going to reference a cell G. Now, if we just reference cell G, uh, G9 here, we're going to get an error. So I'll click on that and hit that. So now we have a value error. So we need to convert this value. So it starts with the year, month, and day. We can do that with the text formula. So let's go ahead and modify this G9 cell here by applying text. And the first value is going to be this G9. Then we put a comma in and then we need to format our text. Let's close the brackets here so we don't mess things up. And how do we want it? So we want the year and we can use the shorthand for uh, capital Y, 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 Y. Then MM, capital MM dash and then dd for day so year month day separated by dashes let's hit tab to get out of that now we've got that range here excellent so that's going to be the fifth of the fourth we can use a drop down arrow now to change our dates to make the selections that we need cool so go ahead and play with that happy playtime all right so we've got our single day query here Let's move on to another example. What about if we want to have greater than or less than values here? Well, it's relatively simple. We're going to reference a cell again. So let's go down and grab this formula that we already had. And we'll hit Control A to copy in the formula bar. And then we're going to go to cell K4, back to the formula bar, Control V. And here, where it says where A equals date, we could say where A is lesson date and we also need to change our cell reference here it's going to be l what is it l2 and let's tab out now you can see here we have all the dates that are less than the 
30th of January 2024. Now I'm in Australia, so we have month, day, year here. Of course, if you, uh, of course those smart cookies in the US, you'll understand that is going to be month, year, day for yourselves. Okay, so we've got our date here. What about if we want to include that month? So it's going to be less than, we can put an equal sign here for less than or equal to. So that'll include that month. And of course, if we want to make things greater than, we can change this to the opposite value of greater than here and hit tab. We can see everything greater than. That's okay, but we can see here that it's not ordered appropriately. So we need to order these dates correctly. Let's go ahead and do that next. So I'm going to close this one here and open up our next example. So we're going to query dates greater than or less than that are sorted. So let's go ahead and grab the formula that we had before and head up to the formula bar, hit control A, control C to copy. And then over to P4, we're going to go into the formula bar again and hit control V to paste. So how do we sort? Here we can use the order by command inside the query. So at the end of the date request, we can end that little single quotation mark that closes off the date, put a space in here and in capital letters, I'll put in order space by. And what column do we want to order by? We want to order by column A. And do we want to order ascending or descending? We will order it ascending for now. And hit tab. And now we have all our dates that are greater than or equal to the target date here. Or is it the target date? Let's double check. No, it's not. It's uh, Q. We need to change it to Q2. There we go. So equal or greater than the target date, and they have been sorted by column A. Now we can go one step further and also sort by column B. So that's in the right order. So let's go ahead and do that. So at the end of order by uh, column A ascending, we can say, we can put a comma in and say B ascending as well and hit tab. And now we're first ordering by column A, then by column B for our dates. So the last thing we need to learn how to do is to query a range between two dates. So let's just close this off here and open up our last example. So on the right hand side of our example, we have two date ranges over here from our drop down list. And we are going to apply that to these two ranges. So let's go ahead and grab the formula back in P4 and select all. So up into the formula bar, control A, control C, and we'll tap across a bit till we get to U4, back into the formula bar, control V. And what do we need to do here? Well, we've got our greater than, we need to change our cell reference to W2 to start off. That's our starting cell reference. And we need to say where a date is greater than or equal to W2. And so we need to put in the and command here and we say and a is less than or equal to and then date and then we're going to put it in this same thing here so let's just cheat and uh, from the single quotation marks we're going to grab everything over to the other single quotation marks hit control c then after this second date we'll hit control v to paste and just simply change this column to x here and then hit tab and now we've got our ranges here between and including these two dates. So if you make a change to this one, making sure it's greater than this one, uh, let's make it to the 19th now, we've got a smaller range here. Awesome. Okay, so that's it for querying dates in Google Sheets. If you've enjoyed this tutorial, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more tutorials like this, subscribe. Until next time.